Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. Today I'm coming you with a peach recipe. It's peach season here in New Jersey. So I had done this last year, but I'm redoing it just because I liked it and I think I need to improve on it. This is going to be my peach chia seed jam. You heard me right. And I may add some bourbon in there. I'm thinking about it. We'll see when the time gets right. You want like a little bourbon in their jam. Not a lot, you know, a splash. It's not like you're putting a whole jigger in there. So don't worry about the points because it's not going to be that much. And you're not eating the whole vat of jam at one time. I mean, you could, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you a couple tricks that I have up my sleeve for this jam. If I, here it is. Ah! This has been my best buddy. See the serrated edges on this peeler? This peels soft skin fruit, like tomatoes, peaches, like nobody's business. Like I used to sit there and boil them and then peel the skin off, but I saw this one QVC. There was a set of three, there were three different ones. Each one did something different. One was a regular, one was a straight, and one was some kind of zoodler, I think. Don't sure if they still have them, but I do have one of these, like these linked in my Amazon store. I, which is listed below, I love this. This to me is everything. And I'm gonna, you're gonna see why when I peel these peaches because you'll be like, oh, wow, and the tomatoes. It's insane, because I am not. A, I don't like tomato skins floating around and stuff, so a little weird like that. But let me, let's get started, and let me show you how easy these are gonna be to peel. You're gonna be like, oh my God, do you like, I know. When I found this, it was just like life-saving. So let's bring it down. See my Jersey cutting board. And look at the size of these peaches. These are like baseball size. We grow them big here. Now, what? Look at this. I mean, can you? It just peels like a stinking dream. Very little pressure, and it just goes beautifully. Uh, this has saved me a step in having to, like I said, boil. Even like when you do tomatoes, like you put tomatoes up, you boil them, get the skin off. At least we always did. But yeah, this. And look how thin, it just gets it perfectly. You can see how thin this is. I mean, look at that. It's just the skin. There's really not much flesh that's getting off. So it's just, like I said, I find this to be a lifesaver. Now, I'm not sure if, if QVC still has them, but like I said, I did find one on Amazon because it has the, I'll show you again, the serrated teeth on both sides. You can see that, but yeah. It's, it's all for soft skinned fruit, tomatoes, anything with a very, you know, very delicate flesh. It's amazing. So that's your, that's your takeaway from this. Nothing else, if you don't even like, you've learned about a new product. So I am going to peel the rest. I only have four. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna peel them and dice them, put them in my pot, and then we'll come back and we'll get started making this jam. You don't need to see me peel these. You saw how long. This one will not take me any time because of this. And it comes with, look at this thing. You pop this out and I could have held it down and this went and peeled it. Like, this is this is amazing. So check QVC out because I think this is the better deal totally. But you never know. I know I have, I want to listen on Amazon in case you can't find it. And you can finish peeling these. We'll be right back. I thought I'd show you how to cut it actually. So I just cut down the sides of each part of the peach. So you're getting like the, like Danny Spees calls it, the cheeks of the peaches. And you just dice them, small or as big as you like. Now it depends on how chunky you like your jam. I like my jam chunky, so it doesn't really matter to me. But if you like a more smoother jam, cut smaller pieces because once it starts to boil, they will definitely break down more. But we said, so now how many peaches do I have here? Hmm. I would say probably, I'm guesstimating, these were four really large peaches, but I would say probably six cups of peaches, give or take. You know, it's not, nothing has to be perfect. I've got that little glow at the end. Let me just place it. There we go. This is our pot of peaches. So I'm going to bring it over to the stove. We've got a little bit of water. And let them boil for a little bit. I'll show you that. We have our peaches over our stove. And I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of water. I could always add more. I don't want it to be too like too watery. I want it to be juicy, peachy. I may add more. We'll see. I just want to err on the side of low. I've got a pretty 
low heat. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to baby them and just keep tossing them around. If I think I need more, add more water, I will. And I will let you know how much I add. And then we come back, we're going to add a slurry and our chia seeds and a surprise. All right, this has been cooking for about 25 minutes. I'm just going to get my masher and just start mashing to give it a little help. Again, I like it chunky, so I'm not going to mash it too much, but again... And I did not add any water. I don't think it needs it. I think it's perfect because the chia seeds are going to absorb what water's there. And plus, I'm going to put a slurry in. So we're good for that. So definitely the quarter cup is the way to go. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit longer. Then we're going to show you what I'm going to add. And where do you see this? Now I'm going to have my chicken Italiano flatbread while I wait. How good does that look? One smart point for this. I only have to count the Atoria family bakeries. Um, mini lavash for one point. The rest is zero points. Check out my Instagram story. Well, by the time you see this, it probably won't be up there. But if you're saying that, let me know. Okay. I just mashed these up. We're going to add our extra stuff. I also forgot to add, well, I'm going to do a qu quarter cup of the brown sugar replacement. Again, if you want more, you could add more. I just think a little bit of sweetness might not be bad. I'm using the Swerve brown sugar replacement. Get that all mixed in. I'm going to put about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Again, this is optional. If you don't want it, then don't add it. I'm just putting a little teeny bit. I don't really want it to be overpowering. A dash of salt because I think everything sweet needs some salt. And a tablespoon of chia seeds. These are the ones I got from nutstop.com. They have fantastic prices, so I highly recommend you check them out. These are organic chia seeds. So for the amount of chia seeds you're getting, their price is fantastic. And here is my slurry. This is a surprise. I have two teaspoons of cornstarch mixed in with a tablespoon of amaretto. Yeah, I went there because you know it's a little bit it's only a tablespoon for this whole entire jam so it's not gonna hurt you in points at all like i said if you're eating the whole tablespoon yeah maybe we'd have to count it but same thing with the chia seeds you're not going to get that many chia seeds in your serving unless you're eating the whole entire container which i don't think you are i'm gonna put this back on the stove just for about five minutes just to heat everything and marry everything together. And then we're gonna let it cool and we're gonna taste. It smells insane, I won't lie. All right, I only put on for a few more minutes just to get everything married together and look how much it made. This is a four cup container. It's like the much as my um, hummus. Looks amazing and yes, it would not cost you any points to use it. Now, again, if you're going to eat a lot, then maybe. But how many chia seeds are you going to get in your serving? I'm only going to have maybe a tablespoon or two. I mean, you could use a quarter cup probably on your oatmeal. I really still don't want to even charge myself for that. Because it's a lot. For You only have a teaspoon, a tablespoon of chia seeds and a tablespoon of amaretto liquor. Really not much to count. And remember, check out nutstop.com. To get 10% off, there I have a, I have a code in my description box. Look, it's ten percent off, and they do have fantastic prices. I have to say, um, these are the organic chia seeds. So check them out. I mean, it's hard to find good prices for nuts, chia seeds, and dried fruits and stuff like that. But they really have an incredible price, and I would not say that if I didn't believe it myself. So let's have a taste of this bad boy. It smells insane. Insane. Like I said, you can make it more mashed, more chunky. It's your jam. You do you. You do you, boo. But look at that. But it still has to cool. So it's going to get thicker the longer it cools because, let me show you. It's steaming hot still. So once this cools, it will thicken even more. But it smells so good. You can get this with different fruits. 
it's a hint of amber. It's not even that much to notice, but it's got that little background. Like, hmm, what's in this jam that's a little bit different? A little bit of amaretto. Hot. Mmm. Perfectly sweet. I wouldn't want it sweeter. I mean, if you like it sweeter, you taste it, it's not sweet enough, add some more. It's all totally up to you. Again, a little bit of cinnamon. It doesn't overpower because, you know, cinnamon can be a little bit, ooh. Yeah, that quarter teaspoon just in the background with the amaretto, and it's perfection in my in my mind it's perfection but thank you for joining me today if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video give her a thumbs up let me know in the comment section if you plan on making this don't be surprised if you see this pop up in a pop tart in a mug this week you heard it pop tart in a mug coming your way this week with this jam because why not have a great day and we will dish another day thanks for watching